well. Scenes of drama here on the second day of competition. It's the Kashkash Women's Pro and it has got all sorts of intertwined stories in the sport of women's professional surfing. Stay with us because another big heat on deck. It is round four. It is the death round and Courtney Conlog rated number two in the world has now an opportunity to seize the yellow jersey back. She's got a lot of work ahead though. Dimity Stoyal in form here and celebrating her birthday is uh, about to become part of this uh, discussion. Uh, I'm Gig Sadeus alongside Peter Mel. Peter, what a day of controversy. Yeah, and uh, with that higher tide, that's what's allowed these opportunities. It's still tough because the wind has kicked up another probably five to ten knots and it is wild as you see our first ride up and riding. All right, here we go. Action to set the stage in this round four encounter. Second seed on the Jeep leaderboard. Oh. On will go down and wow. Who is writing the script? I'm going to keep I saying know, that as this day well, unfolds. You can't script it. That's the deal. That's what makes this so special is you cannot script what happens here because the playing field is changing constantly. Uh, it's moving constantly. You've got pressure getting added, released. You know, this is a situation where she just watched, Courtney just watched Carissa go down. Yep. All of a sudden it's like, oh, there's this opportunity to get this flood of adrenaline. Like, i got to make this heat. And then there's added pressure. Um, this was the first wave. Uh, of this heat, you know, and you get out there, your feet are a little bit greasy, you need to get them kind of lubed up, or not lubed up, anti-lubed up. You want your, your wax stuck to your feet, and right here, it seems like she got a little bit over-amped. She sees this section here, and she really wants to lay into it, and that back foot oh. slipped right off and goes down. We no. can't even blame the wave face for that fall there. It was just a slip, right? Uh, and the impact that it plays, a full nine feet of tide here, uh, is what is on the way in. So t local time now, 12.30, about an hour and a, a half off the high tide. Now, here we go. Birthday girl, Dimity Stoyle, out the gates here. And let's see if she can lay a foundation. Keeping the board moving through the inside. Now, there's that wraparound cutback. She's got that thing on tap. Just checks it through. This is a very good combination with a nice <laughs> re-entry. And I'll tell you what, that is going to be a platform for an opening score for Stoyle. Uh, and that's going to be a good platform. That was solid surfing right there from Dimity. She did uh, everything right. You know, it chose a wave that was going to have that nice little reform. It gave her some open face throughout. Uh, you know, it's been challenging to find those quality waves, but uh, she has done a great job there. Uh, probably sensed that there was that fall from Courtney Conlog. And, uh, you know, now not making a mistake and applying pressure. You can see here that first move, that nice wrapping turn. She really turns those shoulders around, gets that four, you know, the back arm pulls it across her body as she rips the turn around. That's great form. And then they attack that closeout section. You know, it's not going to be a gigantic score, but I think it'll be in the good range. And it will definitely apply pressure to uh, Courtney Connell, I guess she's not feeling it already. Well, on screen, Dimity Stoyle took out a semi-final finish. She did lose eventually to Carissa in that final. And she did get past uh, Sally Fitzgibbons in the quarterfinals there, Peter. So we're keeping a very close eye on a score. And it does check in. You can see top left of screen a 6.33. Dimity Stoyle, I used the word platform, that is a great number to open on. Courtney Conlog, lying second, has the opportunity right here, right now, to pounce and start crawling back numbers on Carissa Moore, the jersey, yellow jersey leader. We'll keep a very close eye because we're now fast approaching the halfway mark in the heat. And here we go, Courtney Conlog will come out the gate, strong bottom turn to S combination. The wave is going to offer more through the inside. Strong surfing now from Conlog as she wraps a big second cutback. Now reloads, third bottom turn combination into that cutback. It's a series of cutbacks, could be a little bit repetitive. We'll wait and see how the panel start interpreting and it's all going to depend on the punctuation mark at the end of the sentence. Now a bowl for Conlog. Slashes, that had a little bit of variety to it. She'll keep the surfboard moving and now, well, she'll just exit as that wave with the fuller tide doesn't go all the way to the shore pound, Peter. Well, you can hear there's a few folks on the beach. They liked it. They're clapping, uh, trying to uh, influence the judges slightly uh, or ultimately just liking to see that she's stuck to her board. Uh, that first move there where she slipped off, now looking solid on her feet, looking very smooth through those transitions. Again, not a ton of excitement there, though, but uh, we'll take a look at the replay, see what she does on the outside. She drops into this first move, nice carve on the outside. The wave slows up. And she has to weave through it, but then a nice steeper section here. So another nice slow, like slow kind of uh, meandering carve, you know, but nice pace. There was uh, some pace to this that was good, had that nice flow to it. She didn't have to hop at all. She was actually doing maneuvers as she got through here. Just a little slight hop. And then she gets that final steeper section here. 
I think this is going to be a pretty good win. Um, you know, it's not going to be super high scoring, but it definitely going to match to, to Dimity Stoyle's 6.33, and she's going to keep herself well and truly in this one. Welcome back. A lead has now been taken by Courtney Conlog. You are watching the World Surf League presenting the best female surfers on the planet. All of them looking for a world title, but it is a race neck and neck at this stage between Carissa Moore and Courtney Conlog. Carissa Moore is now out of the event. It brings all the attention and discussion onto Courtney Conlog, who, Peter, you spoke about it, a 7.1 is what she just achieved. And right now we are looking at her unlocking wave number three. Here we go. Good board speed from her. She's going to surf to the conditions we spoke about, not pushing it too hard. A lot of bump on the face, big slash on the backhand. Now, can she find a connection through to the inside? A lot of water movement, nice water, nice white water rebound. Now a stronger white water rebound from uh, Conlog. And, uh, you know, it's a grinding wave, but she will drop the 1.83, which she was holding in her top two. So good strategic movement here from Conlog with around 10 and a half to go. And there was that crowd support once again as she gets close to the water's edge. A little bit of uh, support pumping her up, giving some claps. You know, she did uh, very well on that wave stayed going the left direction she stood up looking like she was going to go right but ultimately you can see there uh, more um, coaching being done for the beach and, you know and yep. i mentioned that i didn't think there was going to be any coaching being done for the sand but i'm wrong the beach announced the score is probably not reaching all the way out the back very big playing field here uh, if you folks just want to get an overview of that shortly but let's have a look at this because this here is going to be a valuable score this is the score that checks in at 4.4 now pete yeah well you, there you go so you see she actually looked like she was going to be going um, to her forehand, but the wave stood up better going left. So she stays with it and adjusts on the fly. And uh, that was the nicest turn of the mix there. But ultimately, it does add points at 4.4 as Dimity takes off again. Uh, and that wave not panning out for her whatsoever. All right. So uh, while we were just coming to the end of the analysis of Courtney Conlogs now 4.4, which joins her top two, it'll be a small throwaway for score for Dimity Stoyle. Pete, the time is flying. It's now nine minutes remaining, but this is a little bit more of a standard script now with Courtney Conlog uh, keeping a track through to a quarterfinal place here. She's got just under nine minutes to hold on. Not a big requirement, though, for Dimity Stoyle, who is out in the primary takeoff area. She will uh, now probably just about now get that first priority back for our surfer in blue, Stoyle from the Sunshine Coast. So Courtney Conlog now opportunity to pounce on this stop eight of the tour and crawl back points on Carissa Moore because Carissa Moore is out of the event. She has stumbled in this round four encounter uh, a little earlier on. Now six minutes to go and Conlog will go into a prowl looking for opportunities now to build a better score than the 4.4. So she realizes that the requirements for second place surfer Dimity Stoyle is not a big number to achieve, Peter. Just a 5.18 requirement. Looking at those opening numbers and counting numbers for both of our surfers, well, easily achievable for both to go into another set of good scores. So get, the last, get the last of the tide push tomorrow. Yeah. Use the, the sandbars on the outside with the lower water level. So we're going to wait and see how uh, Jesse Maladaya plays those decisions out. A little over four minutes to go right now. Conlog is in the lead but now this is an all-important moment in the heat here we go Dimity Stoyle now picking up on wave number three of this round four encounter that's a strong hack remember she opened with a 6.33 should we want to replicate something similar to that through to the inside beautiful combination there oh, oh and as we say that, that she goes down that was huge that was the point of discussion uh, during Conlog's ride earlier she, Conlog was almost nursing it but getting completion to the turns Dimity Stoyle there pushes it and goes down with uh, now a, three and a half minutes to go. That's a critical moment. You know, she surfed this wave pretty darn good. You know, it's an inside wave, but it was going to stay open through the, that mid flat section and give her that opportunity on the inside. You know, nice carves here. You know, it was never completely smooth. So she had to work really hard to put that board in the right place at the right exact time. And then here, if she had really finished that, I would have seen that 5.18, no worries. But since she goes down, um, she hangs she the big left question, question mark on it. Exactly. Yeah. He, he leaves that question mark there for the judges to really get, solidify that score. So it would have been, like I said, uh, a slam dunk would have been able to take the lead back and it would have put the pressure back on to Courtney as she sits on the outside. As we watch a replay here again. So the outside moves, you know, more just cutbacks, you know, and it was difficult. You could see all that bump. We got all that tide and wind lurping up. You know, there was a nice carve. 
You know, she stays back next to that white water. You want to stay right there next to the white water on the open face. And then here, just bang, it would have been no problem. But just Ooh. gets bumbled off. And uh, look at the score comes in. It is enough. Oh, slightly. Marginal stuff, uh -huh. but it is enough, Peter. 5.33. Dimity Stoyle seesaws the heat. Two judges said no. Wow. And three judges said yes. So Remember ultimately. The requirement was, was a 517. Yeah. So and she just slipped by on a decimal. So one judge said no. So ultimately, yeah, there it is. So now with 115 to go. It wow. Is uh, pressure back on Courtney. Well, the ball's in Conlog's court now. This has been a day of drama in the world title race. Can Courtney Conlog pounce on opportunities now at the expense of Carissa Moore? This is the deciding moment inside the last minute. Out onto the face. She's waiting for this wave to just find a pocket. Now, looking for more. There's the slash. It is on the open face, though. She needs more pocket. Here the wave builds up. She doesn't push too hard. Oh, She'll oh. travel around the section. Now she needs a punctuation at the end. Bang, gets there it, it there. She and wow, it. through to the inside. Now wraps the turn. There is a little bit of gingerly step to the wave, but she's <laughs> being efficient. <laughs> and she's rolling it through to the inside. She'll almost dry dock it. And now back to the judges That's for enough. another hair splitting decision. <laughs> we just had a swing in Dimity store. So the requirements, folks, was a 4.56 on yeah. that last ride we've you just seen. Say, um, you know, again, I'm not the judge, so I'm just kind of ana analyzing it. Well, the heat is wrapped, Pete, so now we are on hold. We'll see and we'll wait how and see how the judges play this one out. Yeah, I know. She actually had a turn there, you know, before all this, and then this way is where it started to steepen up for, you know, this section would have been nice it stayed nice and canvassy but it had a little rib in it so she wanted to make it around the corner here and then this was i think this to me was the turn that would have uh, that solidified the, the score you know it was if she hadn't gotten that last little turn there i would have put a more of a question mark there but uh, ultimately i think even in just there too so it was, it was quality all the way to the end you know i think it's going to be oh goodness look at the scores coming in oh it's going right. to be barely enough one judge went four seven a 4.56 is the requirement as the panel starts peppering in uh, the numbers here three judges have locked in it is oh amazing. it's a decimal it's a 5.4 and it hurdles the requirement peter wow courtney conlog has slid by this encounter she survived the death round right here <laughs> and mom just can't believe it <laughs> wow mom can't believe it Courtney wow. says, yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew. I was uh, all good, don't worry. Oh, little <laughs> Well, folks, round four, and Courtney Conlog now finds a place in the quarterfinals. It is high drama here, and I'll tell you what, it was nearly a bigger birthday present for Dimity Stoyle. <laughs> what an encounter. Stay with us, drama in the world of surfing.